Today we're going to be looking at the light microscope and how to use it, what the parts are called, and how to prepare a slide to observe onion cells. So in terms of the structure of the light microscope, at the top we have the eyepiece lens. This is what you look through. Okay, these come in different magnifications. As you can see, this one is 10, uh, has a magnification of 10 times. Uh, moving down, we have the objective lenses. We have three objective lenses on this light microscope with different magnifications. This yellow one has a magnification of times 10. The blue one has a magnification of times 40. And the red one has a magnification of times 4. Uh, here along the side, we have the arm. This is what we hold the microscope from. Okay. And then below that, we have the stage here, the clips, what we use to hold the slide in place. And then below that, we have the light source. Now, this is a light microscope. Some microscopes have mirrors here that you can uh, turn to focus the light up through the hole in the stage so that it goes through the specimen so you can observe it. Here we have a adjustment knob to change the brightness of the light source. And then we have two uh, adjustment knobs here. We have the coarse focus, which makes large adjustments. And then we have the fine focus, which makes small adjustments. Okay, so the coarse focus is what we would use to get a rough image. And then the fine focus is what we would use to make the image clear. To prepare the slide of the onion sample, we've got some onion on a white tile that we use to uh, cut. We've got some iodine, which we use to stain the onion cells. As onion doesn't really have a color, the cells are transparent. So to see them more clearly, we use iodine to stain the cells to add color to them. We've got some forceps, uh, a slide. These are cover slips. So if I open this, these are very small pieces of glass that we put between uh, on top of the sample on the slide. So we sandwich it in with glass and we've got a knife to cut the sample. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of this onion off. And we just need one layer of onion like so. And then from this layer of onion, we want to peel off a piece of the epidermis, which is about here. So this thin piece of epidermis is what we want. And then we want to lie this, a piece of it, flat onto the slide. So we would use the tweezers to make sure that it's flat. Okay, and then on top of this, we want to add about two to three drops of iodine. Now, iodine can stain your skin, so it's very important you don't get it on your skin. Just two to three drops. One, two, and we'll add another one, three. And then we want to get our cover slip. And we're going to put this on top of the sample. Now we don't want there to be any air bubbles between the cover slip and the slide. So you can use your forceps to gently lower the cover slip onto the, slide, the sample, like so. And then afterwards you'll be left with something that looks like this. So there we have the onion. On top we have the cover slip and we have the slide underneath. And there's our prepared slide. So now that we have our slide prepared, we want to observe the sample using the microscope. But how do we do that? So the first thing you want to do is make sure the stage is, is, in, is in its lowest position. And we want to select the objective lens with the lowest magnification first. In this case, it's the red one with a magnification of times four. So we'll select that one. Okay. Then you want to load the slide onto the stage and clip it into place.
all right? And then you want to move the slide as close as possible to the lens before you look through the eyepiece lens. Okay, the reason why we do that is because with these larger lenses, if I select one, for example, if you are looking through the eyepiece lens and you are moving the slide closer and closer, then you won't be able to see when the slide touches the lens. So if you keep going, the force can push the lens into the slide, which can A, damage the slide, and B, damage the lens. So to avoid doing that, we put the stage in its lowest position first, load the slide, and then while we're looking at it from the side, move the uh, stage to the lens as close as possible. Then we look through the eyepiece lens and move it away to focus the image. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it on. All right, and I'm going to adjust the brightness so it's bright enough. And then I'm going to look through the eyepiece lens and I'm going to move it away to get a rough image. And then once I have the rough image, I can use the fine focus to get a clear image. All right, and once I'm happy with that, I'm going to move it back down to the lowest position and I'm going to select an objective lens with a higher uh, magnification. So times 10 would be next. And this is to see the cells in more detail. So I've looked at it from a wide field of view and now I'm going to look at it uh, closer up at a high magnification to see more detail. So once again, with looking at it from the side, I want to move it as close as possible Okay, so it's not touching. And then I want to look to the eyepiece lens and move it away to get a rough image and then use the fine focus to make the image clear. And then once again, select the objective lens with the highest magnification, move it as close as possible, and then move it away to get a rough image and then focus it to get a clear image with the fine focus. The reason we start with the smallest uh, with the objective lens with the smallest magnification first. There are two reasons. The first one is that it's easier to focus. And the second one is that it gives you the widest field of view. So this is what you can see through the objective lens with the lowest magnification times four. And each of those little compartments is an, a cell, an onion cell. If you look closely, you can see uh, dots in the middle of each cell. That's the nucleus. And the lines around each compartment are the cell wall. This is with the objective lens with a magnification of times 10. So you can see the onion cells in a lot more detail. You can see each compartment, the nucleus uh, and the cell wall. And the substance around the nucleus is the cytoplasm. And finally, this is using the objective lens with a magnification of times 40. To work out the total magnification, you would multiply the magnification of the eyepiece lens by the magnification of the objective lens. So the objective lens has a magnification right now of times 40, and the eyepiece lens has a magnification of times 10. So 10 times 40 is 400. So the total magnification that we are viewing these onion cells with right now is times 400.